jolly good morning to you. Right, today we're going to metal detect on the beach for a bit. You can see what a wonderful day it is. It's beautiful. It's a bit windy, a bit cold. There's a, a bit of rain due, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm just going to do a bit on the on the beach, see if we can find anything. So come on, come with me. I still haven't found any jewellery since I got to England and it's getting a bit annoying now. I want a gold ring. Okay, we have a fishing weight. Found a few fishing weights now, especially on this beach. Nothing special. Moving on. Another fishing weight, and look at that one. Look at the big things on that. How dangerous is that? That was just near the surface. You've got kids and dogs running along here. I'm really pleased I've got that out. And another one! Another one! This one's got a fancy little end on it, but just the same, man. These are dangerous. Two pence. Two pence. A bit of money. Spendable money. Come on, I need more now. Okay, if I find another like this, I'm going to call the police. Another of them. But with hooks on. And line. This isn't good, is it? That's disgusting. I'm so proud to get rid of them. Doing my job for the community, you see. There's a guy down here walking his dog. I just had a word with him. He was asking me what I've found. And he says, I've just thrown my stick for my dog. And it went three miles. Three miles to throw a stick. Sounds a bit far-fetched to me, to be honest. Look at that. It's a bit of a crab. It's dead. Oh, obviously it's dead. It's not inside, look. It's just a bit of shell. But a bit of scaly crab. That's quite cool. I like that. I'm going to take that home. I like crabs. Another fishing weight. A fishing weight. Look what I've just found. It's a fishing weight. No idea. It's brass. It's not a bullet. I'm pretty sure, but just a piece of brass, I don't know. Fishing weight. I've just found this weight. I think they use them for fishing, you know. 20 pence, 20 pence. So that's 22 pence, I'm doing all right, I need more, I need more. Another fishing weight. I've had enough. I've seriously had enough of this. Just finding dangerous fishing weights all day. Um, oh, I wanted to show you these gloves. These are from King Digger. As you know, I'm now uh, trying to help the guy get some sales for all the lovely prizes he's donated for the children's competitions. Uh, look at these beauties he's asked me to try out. Now these, I have told him, let me just turn you around, hang on. Yeah, Mr King Digger's sent me some products to try out, and I've told him, yes, I'll, I'll happily review them on my videos for you, for all the kind to donations you've given, but I will be honest, you know, if, if it's rubbish, I'll say it in my videos. Um, I haven't found anything rubbish yet, especially these. Now these are the best gloves I've ever I've ever worn for metal detecting. They're amazing. You got your Velcro a bit there, but it's you know like a spongy. I don't know. It's like scuba diving uh, skin or whatever you'd call it. I don't know, but a very nice rubbery, bouncy feel to it. Little Velcro bits there. Not sure what they're for, to be honest. But a lovely grip. Um, like a rubber grip in the middle. Best gloves I've worn. And I think, I might be wrong, I might be wrong, I think they're only 6 99 or not far off. I'm pretty sure they're under £10 anyway. So yeah, get to kingdigger.co.uk and check out all his products. Just scroll down and you'll see all the products there. They're apps, they, they are amazing. I'm going to use this all the time now, I'm not going to bother going back to the to the old one, it's fantastic. And, he's also bringing out a beach version, you know, with the holes in the bottom, I think that's going to be in blue. 
Um, and one girl asked him if he'd do a pink one, and he has done. He's made her a pink one, bless him. So, yeah, amazing product. Uh, something else which I think is quite unique to King Digger is this, you know, the little holder for your, for your pin pointer. He sells them as well. No, there's nothing on this beach, nothing, it's all fishing weights. That's all you get, fishing weights and a few coke cans. So I'm not coming down here again, this is my third time I've been, not found all. I'm going to go into the proper beach next time to Bridlington, I think. Good morning, good morning. I've just walked under a ladder, and I'll tell you why I've walked under a ladder. All my life, I've not walked under ladders because I didn't want bad luck. I've always had bad luck, so today I purposefully walked under a ladder. And I think, after today, in future hunts, I'm going to bring a ladder with me just so I can walk under it. Um, yeah, I'm not having any luck already. Um, the weather, 3% chance of rain, it said. 3% chance. It's raining. It's raining. Can you believe that? But it's good. It's, it's warm. It won't be raining for long, it's only spitting. It's warm, there's nobody on the beach. The tide's just going out and I've got all day, so I'm going to enjoy this, come on. Oh, and I've got something new to show you, hang on. I've just purchased this off eBay. A little camera holder on my e-track. Um, my camera's going to go on there, obviously. And I'm hoping to give you a few different angles today, but we'll see. I'm not sure. It might be a bit heavy. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping I'm getting a new camera. Someone said they sent me a new camera. Because uh, this one, the big problem with this is you can see what's in front of you, but when you turn to film yourself, you can't see if you're in the middle of the picture or not. It's not great, but it's, it's very robust, if you like. I can drop it, no problem. But, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. It's very misty, very grey. Oil rigs there, look, it's, it's not a pretty sight at this side of the beach. This is uh, South Beach of Bridlington. But uh, as the tide goes out, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to find coins. I need coins, come on. Right, there's definitely something there. Now that's a good signal. Let's see what we've got. I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of rivet or something. Get my glove off, hang on. Yeah, don't know, junk. Probably to do with, oh no, look, maybe a battery off a watch or something. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hey, let's carry on. Okay, I've already found a five pence. And I've just found something else, I haven't looked at it. I'm guessing it's another five pence. Lots of green on it, but uh, it can't be old. It must be a five pence, man. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Yeah, it's a five pence. I'm going to say we'll... Uh, I'll come back to you if it's anything different, but it's definitely a five pence. Never mind. That's ten pence so far. Can't go wrong, can't go wrong with that. I was asked to try this baby out by King Digger. <coughs> New sand scoop. Now, what can I say about it? Firstly, the size. That's the most noticeable thing, is the size. It's not... I've used one before, which I was lent by Paul when I went out with Paul. Um, and it was... It had a big wooden handle and it was heavy. This is light. And it only comes up to my thigh, look. So you're not, you haven't got the weight you've got with some of them, and it's got uh, a, quite a pointy end, so you're not struggling to get through the sand either. 
So yeah, I've quite enjoyed this. It's even got a King Digger. I didn't realise he had that look. A little King Digger logo on it. But yeah, it's doing the job for me. It's pretty good. Get it ordered. Go to kingdigger.co.uk. You can have one yourself. Woohoo! Ooh, that's sexy. That's sexy, I'm telling you. Okay, I've just found something, i found something. Now to you, it's probably nothing, it's not worth any money. But to me, it's proper treasure. It's proper treasure. Look at this, it's like a little necklace. It's a little necklace. It's cheap, it's cheap, but I don't care. To me, that's special. That's one of my best finds I've had in England, trust me. That's really nice. Made out of little stones. Yeah, it's a cheap plastic kids one, but I don't care. It has got metal on it because it binged, binged, binged on, on metal detector. I'm really happy with that. That's made me day now. Better th I found two pence as well, two one pennies, but hey, nothing beats that apart from gold or a proper coin. Woohoo!